Today, we're diving into something that has Sony Alpha fans buzzing with anticipation, the upcoming Sony A7 V, which looks like it's gearing up for a potential launch very soon. And yes, there are strong indications that it could be priced. At around US$3,000, featuring next-gen sensor technology, potentially even a partially stacked or 44MP sensor. We're also covering two other Sony cameras that have been recently registered, including a pro shoulder camera and a mysterious third model that remains unconfirmed, possibly a Sony FX32. Let's explore everything you need to know e camera a quiet. First half, but the storm is brewing let's be honest, the first half of 2025 has been somewhat uneventful for Sony's Alpha series when it comes to mirrorless camera bodies. Sure, we got some amazing lenses like the 50mm f 1.2 GM, but in terms of camera releases, things felt a bit flat. The Sony FX32 was seen by many as merely a rebranded version of the A7 IV, fitted into an FX-style body. That's not bad per se, but when you're hungry for innovation, it's not exactly satisfying either. Meanwhile, competitors like Fujifilm, Canon, and Nikon have stepped up, releasing multiple new models and pushing the envelope on autofocus. Dynamic range, and video performance.so, the question was, when will Sony fight back? Magnifying glass tilted left confirmed registrations point to three new Sony cameras between May and June, Sony quietly filed certifications for three upcoming camera bodies, hinting at major announcements happening between July and October. This timeline matches with Sony's past release cadence, and now multiple insider sources have narrowed down at least two of the three models. A professional shoulder camera, targeting video professionals. A new alpha full frame camera, likely. The long awaited Sony A7 5.A and unknown third camera, possibly a next gen FX camera or even a fixed lens compact. Let's break these down. First camera, Sony's new shoulder style camcorder Sony has registered a new shoulder mounted video. Camera with the code PXW Z380, believed to be the successor to the Z280 model. It's targeted at professional video creators and broadcasters and will likely carry a price tag around $8,000 USD, while exciting for a niche group of professionals, this isn't the model most photographers or hybrid shooters are waiting for. That honor goes to the second camera on our list. Second camera, the long-awaited Sony A7 V this is the one that's getting people really excited. According to strong internal sources and reliable leaks from Asia, the second registered Sony model is the Sony A7 V, also internally referred to as the A75. Here's everything we know so far, and it's a lot to unpack. Potential features. And sensor technology there's heavy speculation that this model will not be a minor iterative update like some feared. Rather than a lukewarm follow-up to the Sony A7 IV, the A7 V is shaping up to be a much more feature-rich mirrorless camera. Rumored specs include sensor, either a partially stacked 33MP or even a 44MP sensor. Possibly borrowed from the Sony S1 or 2 or a newly developed chip.ai processor, Sony's latest dedicated AI chip for faster and smarter autofocus, eye tracking, subject recognition, and real-time computation, video capabilities, improved heat management. Suggests longer 4K 60p or even 120p recording with reduced thermal shutdown risk. EVF, a higher resolution EVF. Possibly jumping from the A7-4's 3.69 million dot OLED viewfinder to over 5 million dots. Not quite the A7 or V's 9 million, but a noticeable boost in clarity, body design, expected to maintain the same body as the A7 IV, meaning full weather ceiling, dual card slots, and ergonomic controls, but likely with some refinements, money bag price point, is $3,000 justified? Early pricing rumors indicate that the Sony A7 V will launch at around €3,200 to €3,500 in Europe, translating to approximately US$3,000 in the US market. That's a noticeable jump from the launch price of the Sony A7 IV, which retailed around $2,500-$2,700 at first glance, this might feel like a steep increase, and it is. But with inflation, rising manufacturing costs, and the integration of AI-based hardware and sensor tech, it's not entirely surprising, that said, if Sony delivers meaningful upgrades, especially with sensor performance, readout speeds, rolling, shutter control, and dynamic range, this pricing could be more than justified, cross swords the competitive landscape Sony isn't innovating in a vacuum. Cameras like the Nikon Z63 are already hitting the market with stacked sensors and blistering readout speeds. Canon is rumored to unveil the R6 Mark III, and Fujifilm continues to impress with its X-Series lineup. If the A75 sticks to the older 33MP sensor from the A74 without meaningful enhancements, it risks falling behind in a fiercely competitive full-frame mirrorless space. To stay ahead, 
Sony needs to leverage every tool it has, and that means faster readout, better autofocus AI, improved 4K recording, and high-res EVF upgrades, crystal ball. Third camera, what could it be, that brings us to the third registered Sony camera? Right now, it's the big mystery. But insiders are pointing toward a possible FX32, a cinema camera that would slot beneath the FX3 and appeal to compact film crews and content creators, given Sony's traditional preference for debuting pro video gear at industry events, this could be unveiled during the IBC show in Amsterdam in September 2025 that that's a logical fit, especially if it features a better internal codec, improved low-light performance, and 10-bit 4.2.2 video support. However, others speculate it could be something more unexpected, like a refreshed fixed-lens premium camera, a Sony RX100 style compact, or even a new APS-C hybrid camera aimed at vloggers. We'll just have to wait and see. Speech balloon your thoughts. Matter if Sony nails the A7 V with proper sensor upgrades and AI-driven image processing, we could be looking at one of the most powerful mid-range mirrorless cameras on the market. But if they play it too safe, they risk alienating a portion of their loyal user base, especially given the $3,000 price tag. So, here's what we want to hear from you, would you buy the Sony A7 V at that price, do the rumored specs justify the higher cost, what features are a must for you, better EVF, 4K 120p video, or a stacked sensor, drop your opinions in the comments section. Let's open this up for community discussion, we read everything. Final thoughts. What to expect in the coming month Sony has registered three new cameras, likely launching between July and October 2025. The first is a shoulder mount broadcast camera. The second is almost certainly the Sony A7 V, expected to arrive with AI enhancements, better video tools, and improved EVF. The third remains a mystery, but could be the FX32 or another hybrid slash prosumer model. If you're considering upgrading from the Sony A7 III, A7 IV, or even an older Canon slash Nikon DSLR, or mirrorless, this could be the time to keep an eye on Sony's next move.